Let's review basic switch configuration with questions and answers part 2. The question read You log into the switch via the console. However, the lock keeps interrupting when you type a command as highlighted in red over here. How do you configure so that it shows your command in a separate line? In order to configure so that the switch shows your command in a separate line via the console, you need to issue the command logging synchronous in the line console configuration mode. Therefore, the answer for this question is B. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video Basic Switch and Router Setting. The question read Which of the commands below allow you to configure Cisco Scale 1 switch with the strongest security option? As you can see, you are in the user mode and you type in enable. It brings you right into the privilege mode without asking any password. In order to configure so that the switch will ask you for the password when you go from the user mode to the privilege mode, you have to go to the global configuration mode and issue the command enable secret and then you provide the password. The password that you provide in the enable secret command will be encrypted in the COI, which makes its strongest security option. Therefore, the answer for this question is D. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video. Securing switch access via console. The question read, you have just replaced the switch tool in the main office. What of the commands below you need to configure on the switch to allow the IT person in the branch office to ping or telnet switch tool from VLAN 1? So in order to allow the IT person in branch office to ping or telnet to switch to from VLAN 1, we need to configure it like this. First, you need to go to the interface VLAN 1 and then you assign the IP address and subnet mask. Then you enable the interface. Then you X out of it and set the default gateway. Therefore, the answer for this question are A, C, D, and E. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video. Secure switch VTY access. The question read, you were able to verify the RSA key generated as in the first screenshot. You then enable SSH on VTY lines as in the second screenshot. Finally, you could also ping the switch virtual interface. However, you cannot log into the switch using SSH. What is the issue? So you can easily identify that this command makes the user log in with a simple password. However, in order to log into the switch using SSH, you need to make the user to log in with the username and password. Therefore, you need to change this command to login local. So the answer for this question is C. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video. Secure switch VTY access using SSH. The question read. Will the above configuration make anyone who logins to the switch console provide simple password Cisco skills? 
from this configuration, you can easily identify that this command makes the user to log in with the local username and password. In order to make anyone who logs in to the switch console provide simple password, you have to change this command to login. Therefore, the answer for this question is D. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video. Securing switch access via console. The question read, you perform the configuration on a brand new switch. What type of key will be generated? This is a tricky question because as soon as you issue this command and hit enter, you will see this message, which means to generate the RSA key on a switch, you need to define a domain name first. Therefore, the answer for this question is D. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video. Secure switch VTY access using SSH. The question read, you work at the main office and you try to connect to the switch at branch office via telnet at the IP 10.0.1.10, but you got party fatal error. You can ping all the devices in the branch office, but the switch. Finally, you check with the IT person in the branch office and he said he was able to connect to the switch via telnet. What should you do? So from the question, we can figure out that from a computer in the main office, you can ping to all the computers at the branch office, which means the connectivity from the main office to the branch office is fine. Also from a branch office computer, you can connect to the switch via telnet, which means the telnet is configured to allow access via telnet correctly. However, from the computer in the main office, you cannot connect to the switch, which means the switch need to configure with a default gateway to point to its router, which has the IP 10.0.1.1. Therefore, the answer for this question is B. You can find the detailed explanation for this question in the video. Secure switch VTY access 